Brian Miskimmons here to talk pinpoint weather, and you really piqued my interest when you said that we might see 70 degrees sometime soon. It's going to be close, Ken. This is the type of pattern we're going into this week that can really produce some warm weather or can really produce some very wet weather, and I think we're going to get a little bit of both. So out there today, we saw kind of that mix of clouds and sun. In fact, this is a time lapse from our Beaverton camera there. You can see some pretty good sun breaks, and then the clouds kind of rolled in, and then some more sun breaks. Basically, take today's weather and double it for tomorrow. So if you saw whatever you saw today, basically and count on the same thing going for tomorrow. And warmest spots in our pinpoint weather at 59 degrees there at Milwaukee at Riverside Elementary School, Rainier High School, Mill City Middle School, and Forest Grove Joseph Gale Elementary School all coming in at 58 degrees. Our statewide numbers, 55 officially for Portland. Same goes down the valley in Salem and Eugene. Looks like we won the lottery there, three numbers in a row. 53 for the Dallas, 48 though, all the better you can do in Redmond, and 56 this afternoon for K Falls. Notice Medford coming in at 63 degrees, a sign of some of that warm air starting to work its way in. Another night last night in the 30s, 37 officially in Portland, 32 in Eugene, and 20 over in K Falls. And outside at the 6 o'clock hour, 54 in Beaverton. That's one of the warmer spots along with Vancouver. Gresham coming in one of the cooler spots at 50 and 43. Good evening, Bend. 51 for the Dalles and 51 as well for Astoria. Live 3D pinpoint Doppler. A lot of this uh, showing up on radar, radar is basically what we know call as Virga or basically moisture that's evaporating before it hits the ground. We still have this battle in the atmosphere that's going to go on. It's going to continue to go on for the next several days. Ridge of high pressure right here over California. This area of low pressure is passing off to the north. This is the next area of low pressure we need to watch. And this thing, as it spins up later Tuesday, into Wednesday. That's going to pump up some warmer air ahead of it, but also it's going to spin some bands of moisture up over us, especially later Tuesday into Wednesday. In fact, raincast kind of walk you through the next several days. You can see just a lot of those high clouds. So we'll see mostly cloudy skies at times to partly sunny skies at times. I think later in the day tomorrow, those clouds really thicken up. Could see an evening shower over the Cascades, but then later Tuesday, I think that's when the better chance of showers pops up, especially over the Coast Range and Cascades. This is a very warm pattern we're going to be into because it's going to be pumping up that warm air from California. And then notice as we go into Wednesday, that's when it looks like the best chance of showers rolls into the valley. And with warmer air aloft, we could definitely potentially see some uh, thunder showers pop up then as well. So definitely something to keep in mind as we go through the coming days. The coast, mostly cloudy skies. Isolated showers may pop up late in the day, but overall afternoon highs in the 50s, 60 in the afternoon for Salem, 59 for Eugene. More clouds the further south you go. A mix of clouds and sun and breezy, especially for the North Valley, Closer you are, the closer you are to the gorge. Partly sunny skies for the east side tomorrow. Breezy at times. Another cold start out the door for Baker City and Burns, 18 degrees. Everybody else, though, in the 20s and 30s in the morning. For the Columbia River Gorge, partly sunny and breezy. East winds kicking up, especially down towards Cascade Locks and Troutdale. Gusts up to 40 miles per hour possible there. An evening shower possible for the Cascades and a uh, freezing level popping up to about 7,000 feet. A mix of clouds and sun for the metropolitan area tomorrow. A breezy day as well, 60 to right about 62 for our afternoon high. So we'll add a few degrees from where we were today. Overnight lows tonight, not quite as cold, about 35 to about 40, 37 officially at Scappoose. Now out the door in the morning, a clouds and sun mix and temperatures right about 40 degrees there. 51 at noon, partly sunny and breezy. And it looks like a few sun breaks there at 5 o'clock. We have to deal with the threat of some thunderstorms on Wednesday and then check out Friday all the way through Easter weekend. We're talking about temperatures near 70 degrees on Saturday and close to it for Easter Sunday. So Ken, not looking to be too bad of a uh, seven-day forecast, especially if you look towards the end of it. All right. Thanks, Brian.